come the stars, come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. I shouldn't be grumbling. It's been two weeks since I've had to pick up from the bus stop. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be grumbling, but I am a little bit. Christmas break is officially over. The holidays are officially over. That's sad, but good. I don't know about you guys, but I get to the point where I'm just ready to just start back to life again. Emma said the same thing this morning. She was just ready to start back to school again. <laughs> We'll see if she says the same thing when we pick her up. She enjoys school for the most part. You know, I'm glad we homeschooled her for the couple of years that we did, year and a half. It was the right choice, but it was also, I think, the right choice to send her back. Um, we're trying to decide. We've always planned on Missy going back to public school at high school, but she's in seventh grade. So I don't know. I'm, we're kind of toying with the idea. Do we let her go back in eighth grade instead of ninth? Just, she really enjoys that social. She's a good kid, but she enjoys friends. So, you know, we've got some thinking on that one. We've had a really great day of homeschool today. I spent a lot of work this morning getting organized. I'm still, who are we kidding? I'm not your typical homeschool mom. I struggle with that, but I'm a little more organized. And for me, that's a blessing. So that will be good. Tomorrow is freezer camp for the goats. I'm ignoring my feelings today. So, and I'm not even sure how much of that I'm gonna show tomorrow. It's just the ugly side of homesteading. So I guess we'll just kind of see what I'm up for sharing. But tomorrow will be a bittersweet day. Let's say it that way. But it's been a really good day. Weather's not too bad. Looks like the car says it's 30 degrees. So it's actually not too cold. 30 is cold, but not as bad as it could be. So what do we do with the rest of the day now that homeschool's done and I'm picking up Emma? The answer is I have no idea. Hello. Oh, just push it up. I already have an assignment in math. A homework assignment. I already have a homework assignment in math. We have a homework adventure in math? Yes. my I'm picking history this semester, and my history teacher calls assignments adventures. So we had an adventure in, in history, and we also had an adventure in math that is continuing on till at, at home. I love that. Well, good. So you had a good day? Yeah, it was, it was okay. Um, long, but it was, it was pretty good. Good. Ready to be back to life? Yeah, I'm ready for life to get back together and everything. Good. So you may be wondering why I have an entire thing of alfalfa pellets. Well, it is because our goats are brats and they have not eaten one bite of this new hay that we've gotten them. It's been like, I don't know when we got it, Thursday-ish last week and it's now Monday and they haven't eaten, it's the same stuff in there since that day. So we give them a couple alfalfa pellets just so that they're not starving. They do leave tomorrow. Of course they choose now to not eat it, but they usually gob gobble it up because they're starving. But you don't want them to starve right before they go to freezer camp, because that's no fun. But, <laughs> but they are brats and they do not, they refuse to eat what, if I what we give them. Tell you that things don't happen once, they always come back. What if I could? Throw us back to the very moment when we had our luck. Suddenly, it's clear to me, you're all I ever wanted, can't you see? Got to follow through, in a game for two, it ain't the way I want it. I'm 
feeding the babies. Oh, I can't. Yeah, you gotta unbuckle before you get out. I hate cows. I hate cows. Yeah? What happened? Uh, they got... So they got a new one this morning, and he, um, is huge, but won't drink. He was like... He, um... He just was like not even opening his mouth. Like I had to stick my finger and he wouldn't even open his mouth. He was like going all over the place. And I'm like, you're stupid. So his nickname, his nickname's stupid because I'm like, okay, instead of the new cow or number nine, um, he's stupid. I'm like, oh, okay, I have to go feed stupid now. He <laughs> is just, I don't like him. Yeah, so I had to write a note for my boss. For your boss. For my boss. <laughs> for him so to do So he's gonna it. take care of it? Yeah. Well, it's good you have a boss. <laughs> Hard day on the job. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> Hard day in the books, huh, Em? We're doing the Pythagorean theorem. Oh, Good yeah. for you. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> a squared plus B squared equals C squared. Have you, you've heard that before, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> what we're doing. Awesome. So. Good luck. I finished my math homework, and look how neat and tidy it looks. Okay, everybody correct that. Is it wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I'll find out probably before they tell us, but... Um, <laughs> I think it's right. Anyway, uh... It's usually not this neat and tidy because I'm you not. You have terrible handwriting. I don't think I have terrible handwriting. I but sometimes. <laughs> wow. Missy's being a jerk tonight. What? Some... I said I do. Like, I have hand... <laughs> bad handwriting. It sounded like you were saying, I think you have terrible handwriting. Oh, I have hand... bad handwriting. Okay, well. Yours is okay. <laughs> Yours is Thank you. Good. Anyway, it's not this usually this neat and tidy, but it is tonight, and I don't know why. Because you haven't had school in two weeks, and you actually care tonight. <laughs> right? <laughs> Honestly, yes. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. So, Emma's awesome, and she helped get dinner started. I can't tell you how cool it is that I made this sauce from locally foraged tomatoes. The meat that is in here from was, was from a local pig that I purchased from a neighbor. And that is really, really fun. The noodles, yeah, well. Those came from Costco. Um, no, they, they come from the outlet? The outlet, but they first came from Costco. Oh, really? So, so it's really fun to have local food. It's really, it just makes me feel good. Even though I can't eat it with my autoimmune issues, it's fun to see others enjoy. You can hear that it's quiet, mostly, other than Missy singing in the background. <laughs> The kids went over. I had to go help rescue a chicken next door. Their turkey had some issues. Turkey. Rooster. 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 Had some issues. Leg mites and the hens were pecking the heck out of his comb. So I took over some blue coat and some bag balm and doctored up the turkey. Turkey. The rooster. <laughs> and she kept Sam and Sarah for a little bit so they could stay and play for a minute. So they are super excited. We are enjoying a little bit of downtime. Jonah's not home from work yet, but we've had a great day. Thanks for joining us today here on our crazy adventure. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.